Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to customize the page login form for our little theme here. We're using Elementor. So let's go to a page, let's go to a services page and we'll go ahead and password protect this page. So I've gone to the page, I'm going to say edit page regular edit page not with not edit with Elementor I'm going to go up and at visibility make sure you're on the document tab visibility click on public and we can go down and choose to make it password protected I'm just going to say Elementor for mine probably want to make yours a lot more secure than that but mine's an offline site so it doesn't matter too much when you're happy with your password go ahead and hit the update button Great, let's preview our page. Because we're logged in as admin, it's logging us straight into this page. So let's open it in an incognito tab and it should ask us for a password. So I'm going to copy the link address, open an incognito, and simply paste it in there. And there we are, it's asked us for a password. But that looks kind of, doesn't look too good to me. Um, sort of squashed up against the sides here. The content squashed up against the top and the sides there. So let's use a bit of custom CSS and edit this and get it how we want it. And don't be put off by the code. I'll put any code I use down below and you're welcome to use it. So I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm gonna hit the inspect so we can bring up the Chrome inspector here. And I've actually right clicked on the form itself and hit inspect. So it's showing us the form. Let's see what the whole thing's called. There's the whole thing. And it's got a class of post password, post password form. So I'm going to click on that. And in element style, first thing I want to do is bring it away from the sides and the top so I'm going to give it a hundred pixels all round padding so I'll say padding 100 pixels if you wanted more at the top you can do two lots um, we'll say uh, 200 picks and leave the 100 in there now you've got the first one which is top and bottom and the second one is left and right you can do them all individually if you want to also so now you've got 200 top 100 left 200 bottom and 100 right so that's looking a bit better um, but the page is still pretty short there let's make the form fill the page so we'll just add a height attribute we'll say height and we'll say 100 VH, 100 viewable height. So that's going to be, now make this form display 100% of the height of whatever device is being viewed on. For instance, I'm using a desktop here. It's going to be 100% of the height of my monitor. If you're using an iPad, it'll be 100% of the height of that. If you're using a phone, it'll be 100% of that, etc. So that's looking a lot better now. It looks like a form you can click on and fill in and read and without being too squashed up. If you wanted to, you could add a background color. And let's just do light gray. You can put in hex code, whatever kind of color you want to put in there, RGBA, whatever. Great. So I think we're there. But because we've written this in the Chrome Inspector here, if I refresh this page, it'll all revert back to normal. We need to write it into the style sheet of our site. So let's get that class name. There we go. I just double left click on it to highlight it, post password form, control C to copy. Let's go back to our site. And in our dashboard, we can go down to our customizer, which is in appearance and then customize once loaded let's go down to the additional CSS box at the bottom here I'm using the 2020 theme for this particular demonstration 
but it will work with anything. Now, because it's a class, we have to start with a dot or a full stop or a period, whatever you care to call it. And then paste in the class name we just copied. Open and close some curly brackets, give them a bit of space in between. And the code that we just written will paste in there. So let's go back to our site and copy the code from the padding to the light gray to the last semicolon we put on there. Control C. Let's go back to our customizer and paste this in there. Now before I save this, I'll demonstrate about Google Chrome. If we go back to that page again. If I refresh this, it will revert from our custom page here to the original. There we go, it's back to how it was. So let's just save that and we'll re-refresh and it should revert. So let's publish the code we've just written. We'll go back to our page. And I was just demonstrating how that when you write it in Google Chrome and refresh, it'll disappear until you write it into the site. Now we've written it into the site itself and published it. Let's refresh. And there we are. We've got our sort of full height, legible password protected page form. So there you have it. Like I say, I'll put that CSS below the video. And you're welcome to use it. It'll work with your Elementor site. If not, just go through the steps that I've done. If you're using a different theme, you may have to change the class name. But that'll be it. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.